Hi, welcome to StreamSets Data Ops platform. My name is Dash, and in this video, I'm going to show you a simple walkthrough of each major function. The first one is going to be deployments. A deployment is a group of identical engine instances. A deployment defines the StreamSets engine type, version, and config to use. You can deploy and launch multiple instances of the configured engine. You can create a deployment for the following engine types, data collector and transformer. The simplest way to set up your first deployment is to create a self-managed deployment that launches a single data collector instance on a local or on-prem machine. After getting started, you might consider using one of the cloud service provider integrations that StreamSets provides. Let's see how to set up your first deployment. Let's give it a name and a deployment tag. Using this option, we can select what additional libraries we would like to have installed on our data collector engine. Let's pick a couple. Save. And this is where you would configure additional attributes for your data collector. And for install type, let's select Docker. Clicking on this button will give us a script that we can run on the machine. You can see that the installation process has started on Docker. There we go. So we have our data collector running in Docker. Let's go back to our UI and confirm that the engine is up and running. There you go. Now clicking on this shows you all the details about the data collector engine. Configuration, any external resources that you may have, logs, all the metrics around it, and what have you. The next thing I would like to show you is how to build the pipeline. You can build pipelines by adding stages to the pipeline canvas. Use origin stages to represent origin systems, processor stages to process the data, and destination stages to represent destination systems. As you build the pipeline, preview the data to determine how stages alter the data through the pipeline. You can build pipelines that run on data collector or transformer engines and you configure both pipeline types on the same canvas. When you build a pipeline, you can start with a blank canvas or with the sample pipeline. Use a sample pipeline to learn about pipeline design or as a basis for building your own pipelines. Let's see how to build your first pipeline. Let's give it a name and let's select one of the sample pipelines. We'll leave Docker self-managed as our authoring engine. There you go. So now before we can run the pipeline, let's preview and see what the data looks like. Preview is a great way to debug your pipelines and also understand all the transformations that are happening at each stage. Now let's go ahead and test run a pipeline. Once you're satisfied with all the transformations that are happening in the pipeline, you create a job to run this pipeline. But before you can create a job, you need to check the pipeline in, as in publish the pipeline. And you do that via this option. We'll leave the name as is. Next. 
that's our pipeline and that's the version we're asking the job to run. Deployment, our Docker self-managed deployment, label Docker. There we go. When you start a job, Control Hub sends the pipeline to deployed engines. The engines run the pipeline, sending status, updates, and metrics back to Control Hub. As you monitor a job, you can view statistics, error information, logs, and alerts about the pipeline. You can also look at the operations dashboard to look at the different metrics around the jobs that are currently running. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see demos of advanced features, Subscribe to Demos with Dash.